Reporting. There is a large report section in Smoothwall, which can be found in the top menu, System tabs. To navigate to the Summary Report, click Reports, Reports, Summary. Here we see a range of services information in a greater detail than we can see on the dashboard. A green tick against a service indicates that it is operating correctly. Further down the screen, the Network ARP table allows you to see network-based details without the need to utilize the command line. The Processor section shows how the system is behaving and you can click through to see the system behaviors and get historical data about load averages. The Memory section indicates how much RAM is being used and the hard disk drive info shows how much storage is available. If you are using a UTM product, below this you can see bandwidth throughputs, current rates, etc., which are useful for troubleshooting. Per IP address statistics are helpful to understand which clients on your network are consuming the most data at any point in time. At the bottom, it's possible to see the routing table data, again, without the need to access the command line. Clicking through Reports, 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 there are a number of available folders containing reports on different areas of the smooth wall. The User Analysis folder contains some of the typical reports used in an investigation, such as Complete User Audit Trail, Time Spent Browsing for a Specific User, or Web Searches for a Specific User. By default, any report will run for the last week. It is a good idea when running a report for the first time to begin with a short time period and ensure that you have chosen all the correct parameters, and then expand the date selection. This saves wasted time running a long report against an incorrect selection, depending on resource or disk bandwidth available. Select your desired dates from the date picker at the top of the screen and then click Run Report. The first view in this report is a pictorial representation of the data. In this version, it's a bar chart and a pie chart. Heading down the report, the table shows the number of hits against domains. In some reports, it's possible to click on these entries to drill down further through the data. Clicking on an individual domain opens these additional options, and we can choose to see the users who requested this particular domain. When it is clicked, the SmoothWall dynamically runs a fresh report. In this drill down, we see the top user hits on this domain. Again, clicking on a username opens another range of drill down options to see further detail, working through the system information to form an investigative pattern. It is possible to save the results of a report. For example, it could be named to represent a particular support case you are investigating or an HR reference. Click Save and the report will appear in the Recent and Save section with your chosen name. Reports can be exported to CSV, PDF, and TSV. TSV is similar to CSV. It uses tabs rather than commas. The Report Sharing button allows you to share a report with an end user via a link without the need for them to log into the smooth wall. There is an option to secure this link with a password. There are several options available for sharing scheduled reports on a regular basis. A report can be scheduled to be emailed out to a group of people, saved to the administrator interface, or it can be published to be run by a non-technical user in the user portal. To schedule a report, navigate to Reports, Reports, Scheduled. Select the report you would like to run from the drop-down and click Update. Choose how regularly you would like the report to be run. Choose the date and time when you would like the report to commence. 
it can be helpful to run regular reports at times such as the weekend when the system will be more quiet. You may choose to repeat reports on the daily, weekly, or monthly regularity. Ensure Save Report is ticked and input a report name and click the Add button. This will save the scheduled report to the administrator interface. A report can be published to be run by a non-technical user in the user portal by selecting an available portal from the list. The report must be enabled on the portal within Services, User Portal, Portals. It is also possible to email the report out to a chosen group. Check the tick box and select an available group from the drop-down. The groups are configured under Reports, Settings, Groups. Within Reports, Settings, Output Settings, it is also important to set up appropriate SMTP settings. Click Add.